Hello, welcome to this session of OpenMentor.net. This is a continuation on software basics and computers basics, the foundation course. In this, we are going to talk about algorithm. This is very important whoever is entering the software industry because the entire software industry is based on logic. Logic is nothing but step by step instruction. The ability for anybody to do programming is, is the ability to break a bigger task to a smaller task. It is nothing but a breakdown of tasks to simpler ones. Let us take a simple example. I want to play a CD-ROM in a CD-ROM player. This is the task. Play CD in a CD player. This is the task. I want to do it and then I want to give it this task to somebody else. Assume that I am giving this task to somebody else but that does that person does not know how to do this task. That person can understand some basic stuff but I am going to instruct that person. So how do I do it? First I start. Okay. Let us have a step number. 1, 2, 3 like that. First take CD then open the cover 4 take CD out okay I would say take CD pack take the cover out open the cover take the CD out then take the player sixth step open the cover now there may be another disk inside that uh, player we do not know so our brain if I am doing the task my brain will do some logic over there my eyes see whether there is another CD inside whether there is another disk inside the player so if there is a disk in the player then take that disk out else so what should I do else I have to insert the uh, CD right so now whether there is a CD inside or not the eighth step I am going to say insert the new CD into the player okay I would say in the player now 9 close the cover of CD player then wait till player is ready 11 click play button 12 stop the task assume that the other person is like a robo and you start giving instructions step by step to that person hey go here take this take that do this see whether it is there or not then take it uh, take that out insert this each instruction is a very small instruction but together if you take step 1 to 12 that satisfies this the bigger task so essentially the algorithm is nothing but break a bigger task to smaller subtasks how small it is how small the subtask should be that's your discretion but ideally it has to be a single instruction so that the other person can understand it without ambiguity right ultimately each 
subtask i would say each subtask must not have any ambiguity so that even a machine can do that <laughs> this is called algorithm you can take any task in the world divide it and subdivide it into step by step instructions and that set of instructions is an algorithm people also call this as pseudo code because code generally means instructions in a programming language this is what code means pseudo code means instructions in a natural language you can give instructions in tamil hindi greek latin spanish anything it doesn't make any difference as long as those instructions are very clear to the other person who is receiving it so algorithm is the core part this algorithm if it is in the text form it is called algorithm if it is in the pictorial form or a diagrammatic form it is called flow chart algorithm and flow chart they go hand in hand a step in algorithm will have a corresponding uh, diagram in the flow chart so the ability of programming is nothing but ability of writing this algorithm essentially in software there is something called design design of a software uses this algorithm heavily so design is nothing but doing an algorithm the design is not just the screen design the design also means the logic design ultimately the programmers or the developers or the coders must convert algorithm in a natural language maybe in english convert that to a programming language like java okay this is very essential that is why anybody who is having a good analytical ability analytical ability is the foundation for logic so because you think in a logical way to arrive at a solution logical way means you are going step by step if you take mathematics any any uh, word problem you take you have to do some step by step instruction to solve the problem each step is nothing but a part of a step over here in algorithm so solving a mathematical puzzle is nothing but you are writing those algorithm in a mathematical form so ma solving a math puzzle is an equivalent to doing a logic in a natural language so always algorithm or pseudo code they that one is extremely important for anyone who is entering to the software industry so you you or anyone who is getting into the software industry must develop this ability you can take any task it need not be a calculation it can be any task in the world and you can if you are able to write that into step by step instructions you are good to go let me end this session here thank you